Hey guys, John from John's DIY Playground. Today I got a couple new things in the mail I want to go over with you. It's uh, Motinos, which I use for my home automation system. I've uh, gone over some of these other Motinos in the past, like this one here on the left. Um, this Motino has a um, soldered on wire as the antenna because it talks wirelessly to my home automation system. But the new Motino I got today is a little bit different because it's called the Motino Trace, and it means there's a um, circuit or a copper trace inside the circuit board over in this region here that takes the place of that wire that you're soldering on. So it's actually a little bit lower profile and uh, it's just a little bit more compact I guess in some ways if uh, you don't want to uh, have this antenna wire sticking up. The other thing I got is the Motino Weather Shield. It's a second revision. It's got a sensor on it that can do precision uh, temperature, pressure, and humidity measurements. So it's a shield that fits on top of this uh, Motino here, or this one here, but what I'm going to do is get the header set up and soldered on, and I'll show you how it works, um, and test it out, and we'll go over what the Motino does, what this weather shield will do, and uh, let's get started. So since we have this shield here, we want to put male headers onto the pins here. You have to do this part yourself. Um, you can order the male pins as a kit. My uh, tip here is to just have a um, press in a prototype board like this one and put the pins in ahead of time because it keeps them nice and square when you go to solder things and it keeps it nice and, and everything lined up so when you go to put the board on and do your soldering you can just set it on here like so <clears throat> and then um, everything's held in place so it's really easy to solder so I'm just gonna go ahead and solder this top and bottom headers onto the board and uh, then I'll show you what I do to the Motino side but that's all you need to do for the shield alright I've got the headers soldered on here for the uh, the weather shield to be attached to the Motino now I could do one thing and just solder directly onto the board and hook these male headers right into the, the boards pin for pin, but I don't want to do that for the sake of flexibility in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these female headers into the board here and solder those on so the board can, the shield can be removable. The other thing I need to do the Motino side is I need to solder on this header here onto this area here. This is the um, the programming header where we use an FTDI connector and we'll put the software into the Motino so that we can uh, talk to our home automation system. So let me solder on the uh, female headers right now. I finished the soldering of the female headers as you can see here on the Motino. and. Um, the weather shield of course fits just right like so so almost done last thing I have to do is this uh, power connector I'm gonna power this thing from a uh, 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery um, I don't have a really good cool sexy way to attach this thing so that it looks really nice but um, I think I'm just gonna take this and um, kind of just solder on like so and then we'll be able to power it from a battery, and then I'll show you how I load the code onto the Motino. Okay, so we're going to get started with the software programming of the Weather Shield and the Motino. So if you head over to github.com slash lowpowerlab, as I'm showing here in the URL, um, you'll find all the example code that you need. Um, head over to RFM69, and then under the examples folder, You'll find now near the bottom the weather node uh, folder. And here's the actual sketch, uh, weather node.ino. I'm going to hit raw here just so I can see all the code on the page and then hit control A to select all, then control C to copy the code. And then I open the Arduino IDE. <clears throat> and uh, in the Arduino IDE, you can see I actually already did it, but um, you paste it right in here. So. Uh, the code is pretty much uh, plug and play except for a couple things that you need to change and be aware of. Um, most importantly you have to have uh, the gateway ID of your uh, home automation controller. Mine is uh, number one. And then this particular node ID means the node of what the weather shield would be. So it has to be unique. It has to be independent from any other nodes you have in your home automation system. So I'm choosing 19. And then all of the nodes should share the same network ID. In my case, I use 101. 
The next thing you have to do is if you have these two slashes here, you're uncommenting, you're commenting out uh, the type of radio that you have. So you want to tell the software which type of radio frequency you have on your Motino. Mine is a 915 megahertz, so that's why there are no slashes in front of this define. Um, another critical thing is the encryption key. All of the nodes and the receiving node at your home automation gateway need to have the same exact key. I'm just using these ones, for example. And then uh, that's it. If you have a um, high power output uh, Motino with HW version, you can also make sure that that is uncommented. So no slashes in front of the define. Other than that, that's it. So um, only other thing is if you have any um, libraries that you don't have, it shows links here on how to get the libraries for uh, these particular weather uh, shield specific libraries. And then when you're ready to go, just hit upload. Let the Arduino ID compile and you'll be uploading into your Motino. So next thing I'll do after this uploading is almost done um, is plug in my battery and uh, then I'll show you my home automation gateway and we'll show it working and functioning on the home automation system. This is what my Motino uh, home automation gateway looks like and you can see I've got a lot of different devices um, in my house that are transmitting wirelessly and uh, right now the weather sensor is not showing because I haven't plugged it in yet for the first time so let me show you what happens as I plug in the battery here for the first time. Um, it powers up right away and then you can see uh, magically number 19 like I said it's node number 19 uh, shows up on the gateway by itself. No need to um, tell it to look for anything or to pair. Um, what I do next is I click on that number 19 and I can give it a better definition and say that it's actually the weather sensor. And sometimes I just like to type node 19 and then I don't know where I'm going to put this just yet, but let's say I'm going to put it uh, <coughs> back porch to measure outside temperature and humidity and weather and whatnot. So just hit tab and hit home. I come back now and I look at this gateway. Down at the bottom now I have this weather sensor. So it's got the description that I put in there. And I can like drag this if I want to change the order in the desktop to, you know, put it in the middle or I could put it up at the top. Um, you can do other cool things with this. Um, you can tell it, for example, what things you want to graph. Um, it hasn't transmitted any values yet. It just said when it first powered up. So this will give me an idea of how long the battery lasts between charges. And these Motinos are very good as far as how much power consumption. It's very, very low consumption. I think I won't need to charge my little battery in this box probably in t except for once every three or four months. Um, but that's it. So I hope uh, this was very informative and you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and like. Also hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more uh, videos from me as soon as they come out. And I appreciate your time watching. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.